Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Wolanda. So it has been a year since I last did a mini twist video and I have changed it up a little bit. It's not what I do now. So yesterday was my wash day. My hair is completely dry and it has absolutely nothing in it. I do not like putting any products in my hair before my hair is completely dry. I just noticed it makes it even worse when it comes to the tangles. It feels soft for me having done a protein treatment yesterday. So that means I detangled really well. I deep conditioned really well and I pre pulled really well because last time I protein tree, it was not like this. I was literally on the floor trying to twist my hair for good four to five hours. That's how careful I was trying to maneuver through my knots. All right, let's get into the styling video for moisturizer i do use last time i think i used leave-in and i still have some of that leave-in in that means i really don't like that leave-in and i've been trying to avoid it to be honest but i've noticed i've been trying to use it when my hair is about to get dirty if i want to refresh my twist because i just don't care for it like there's nothing about it that actually makes me want to put it in my hair like it doesn't moisturize moisturize my hair as well as other products but i am still using the tgin and that was a tgin product too but anyways i'm still using the tgin miracle repair curl food daily moisturizer i love this stuff i'm actually almost done with it but i do have a backup that i'm going to use after this um yeah so i've just been using this and then i seal it with Grease. Right now I'm using the Blue Magic Coconut Oil Hair Conditioner. I do have another one after this in my stash, which is the HEP version. And I mean, for a big bottle of grease, I'm really going through this because I realized, I mean, if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys have known I'm minimizing my stash. So I'm, and I'm trying to keep the the things that works and the things that are not going to be a hassle for me to get. So of course you could get grease <laughs> anywhere. I absolutely love grease on my hair. I mean, I've been using it for a good year now consistently. So I haven't had any problems with it. And then after that, I seal it with some oils and you guys know I'm using the, oh, both of them from African Pride. One is the sealing oil, Black Castro Miracle, and the other one's the Moisture Miracle. These two, I have so many of this one in my stash. So I still have like three or four to get through after this bottle. And then this one is almost done. Actually, this is the castor oil. I'll just, will buy regular castor oil. I think this one I got as a PR and I'm, you know, trying to go through it. So after I'm done with this, I'm going to be just replacing it with regular castor oil to use it on my hair. But you know, those are the two that I will be using at the end to seal everything up other than that those are the products that i use very simple don't use any gel curl enhancer nothing just moisturizer grease and oil to top it off and that's it let's go ahead and get into this tutorial so i was debating if i should go ahead and just have music playing in the background or insert a voiceover I really don't have much to say, but I think it's probably calming to just hear me talk about what I'm doing in this video while it's playing. I intentionally wanted this to be a very lengthy video just so you guys can just see me going through the process of me twisting my entire head like almost in real time, not necessarily having every single clip because this took me a good three to four hours to do because like I mentioned at the beginning, I did do a protein treatment. And if you guys know with protein treatments or after, it gets your hair very, very stiff and hard. So um, you just gotta be very, very careful when handling your hair. And I know that, and I'm super, super careful and I'm super gentle with my hair. I'm not as rough as I was before because 
I realized being rough and tugging and pulling and just not being delicate with it make made my hair break a lot and refrain me from retaining length that I've grown. So nowadays I am so relaxed. I am so chill when it comes to handling my hair, twisting it, styling it. It doesn't matter. I'm super gentle with it. And I'm at a point where if I don't have the time, if I don't have um, the patience to handle my hair with care, then I just either put it underneath a bun or not a bun, but a, a turban or a head wrap, do something really cute like that. Or I just wear it unruly. You guys know I don't mind having flyaways. I don't mind having um, very, I guess, quote unquote, messy looking hair. Because I do twists, I feel as though it's very hard for my hair to just look messy. It always look put together, just not, you know, freshly done. And I'm totally fine with that look. It goes with my aesthetic. It goes with uh, my lifestyle. So I have absolutely no problem not having perfectly twisted hair, everything gelled up, swooped back, tight. I don't care for that look at all anymore. Only when I first freshly get it done, like you guys are gonna see at the end of this video, that's when I rock it, you know, as long as I can when it's very clean and assembled together. Um, other than that, after the first like week and a half to two weeks, I'm totally fine with it looking unruly. So I'm super, super gentle with my hair. Even in this position with me doing these this video, I make sure I'm so comfortable to where I can do my entire head in just one sitting. Because normally what I would do is um, during my video recording, I would just come on this chair and record the parts I want to record and then go somewhere else, probably like sitting on the floor. That's where I normally like to do my twists or just do my hair in general. Go sit on the floor and then I'll watch TV while I do my hair. But I actually sat in the same chair in this position the entire time because I was really comfortable. I had everything in arm distance. Um, the TV was right behind the camera, so I could easily just look up. And um, being in my chair was very comfortable, so I had no problem handling my hair with care and not being uncomfortable. Bye. Bye. Um, it's very simple. I do not use combs when it comes to doing my twists. I actually have not used a comb all year. And I stopped using a comb back in December 2022. So my challenge was for me to use combs as minimum as possible when it came to doing my hair. I just realized it was not necessary at all 
in the process to do in my hair. So at first I told myself, instead of using it for pre-poo and then using it in the shower while I detangle with conditioner and then using it to style afterwards and then using it the second time I style because you guys know I dry first with no products and then I go ahead and style it with um, styling products. But then I realized I don't need it for any of the processes at all. My pre-poo is very slippery, so my detangling does not need any combs. For both of my styling, I don't need it at all. So I could just use my fingernails to part, and then that's it. So, so far this year, I have not used any comb in my hair, and it has really helped me retain length, minimize the unnecessary breakage I was getting, and just keep my hair thick and on my head, to be honest. Okay, so what is the difference between my twist now compared to my twist in my previous video? What I do now is I start off my twist with braid. So the roots are always braided now and then I just twist the body to the tip. I do that because I realized, especially when I was working out, my sweat and just shed hair and just air and dirt, everything would get so entangled and dried up at my roots and it just puffs up and it became unruly, it just meshed with each other. So when, I, when it came to me undetangling my hair, I would always get so much shedding and I realized it was because everything was not intact on my roots so now and i've been doing this i want to say since summer of 2022 i've just been starting off my twist with like three or four braids and then just twist the rest and i'm telling you guys this has definitely changed my length retention and just changed overall just how my hair looked because when I was sweating and working out, my hair would get messy super, super quickly. And now that it's braided at the base, it does not get as messy and, or if it does, like it lays better because it's braided. When it comes to twists, because it was poofy at the root, 
it wasn't laying the way I wanted to lay and I will always have to untwist and redo the twist if I want it to look good in front of the camera if I'm going out and I just want to minimize as much manipulation as possible with my hair so I realized when it comes to braiding the roots everything is laid I it's easier for me to um, maneuver manage or like it's malleable yeah the the strands are malleable so I could swoop it here swoop it there and it doesn't you know fight me back so I've been loving this method and this is why I decided to do an updated video because I feel as though this has definitely changed the game when it comes to my hair routine Now it's time for the front. The front part is the part that always takes the longest for me because my front head is bigger, one, and two, I want it to be a little bit neater. So I do take my time when it comes to parting because when I do put my hair up in a ponytail or whatever, or half up, half down, when I'm doing styles, you do see the hairs well, the parts in the front way more than you see the parts in the back. So I take a little bit more time when it comes to parting. I just use my fingernails. Um, but other than that, yeah, just go ahead and do the same process like I did in the back towards the front. I just wanted to come in and say, yo, my edges has been improving so much. I already have very thin edges. I have hair, but it's just thin. And a lot of the times it could look like it's not there. That's just how thin they are. But my curls and my edges are just flourishing and I'm super proud of them. And honestly, it's been because of this method that I've been doing. Nothing is pulling and tugging and stressing them out. Um, there's no products that is on them often. 
The only product I put on my edges is Gorilla Snot because that is the only glue or edge control that actually works without my edges being too oily and that slicks them down without them becoming harsh and crunchy. So that's the only product that I use on my edges. Being that I don't put anything else on there, there's nothing that's really pulling on them. So they have been flourishing and they will always continue to be thin. That's just, you know, something I have to deal with because that's just my, it's just hereditary. It's in my genes. Like my mom has thin edges, but just preserving what I have is my main focus. And realizing that I don't have to do anything extra for them to grow or for them to look up to par. Here and there, I'll put castor oil on them, but I haven't even been consistent with that. So I can't even add, say that's a routine, but yeah, they just, they just look real good. about y'all but my arms normally don't get tired when I'm doing my hair I know a lot of people be like oh their arms get tired I feel like it depends on the way you braid and or um, like the style you're doing because if you're just twisting the first two braids is yeah it's got your arms gonna be up suspended for a minute but after that you could just put it down and relax it's not like you have to have it suspended up the entire time or maybe because the way I sit normally when I'm doing my hair is I sit on the floor and my arms are normally resting on my couch or on my knees. So I just try to make it as comfortable as possible for me. But my arms normally don't hurt. But in this video, it definitely was hurting because I had to make sure I was in focus. I had to make sure I was showing you guys what y'all needed to see. I was looking at different type of mirrors to make sure I was in the frame. So this definitely, yeah, my art, I got to work out. <laughs>
Now this is how I know my hair has grown. This part right here is normally my thinnest. This part and a little bit above that part is the spots where it's either the thinnest or the shortest. You, could, you guys can kind of see at that part above it, it's really, really curly. That's because it's super short. So seeing how that part I just did is longer and it's thicker definitely showed me the me this method is working because I used to attach this hair to whatever the second part I'm about to twist right now so that the front part doesn't get tangled or doesn't break even more just right here like that I normally do it I was trying to see if I wanted to still do it but I realized my hair has grown and it is thicker it's not necessary for me to do but definitely I feel like the video in the past if I didn't do it in that video then I've done it um, before I just haven't recorded it where um, I have attached that front part to the next one because it was just so thin and so fragile where I did not want it to get tangled. I didn't want it to break with uh, within itself. So yeah, this is how I realized this method is really, really helping me retain and helping my hair stay thick. I don't know, twisting my hair is very therapeutic to me. It's so relaxing. Yes, you have to concentrate on what you're doing, but 
I don't know, my mind be wandering and I just be in Zen mode to be honest. And it's just like a machine that just goes and that knows what to do and don't really have to think about what they're doing. Only when I am parting, I really gotta think about it. I really enjoy twisting my hair. And I think that is because I only do it once a month. So I hear a lot of people are frustrated when it comes to their wash day and they're trying to make their wash day shorter and shorter or shorter, like into wash hour or wash 15 minutes or a wash, you know, a half a day, whatever it is. I honestly enjoy my wash days because I don't do it often. I feel as so though if you are doing something as often as wash your hair like every week or as often as every other day, you are definitely going to get irritated because now it's like a task and it is not as enjoyable. But I realized when I switch from washing my hair every week to washing it every two weeks to washing it and now washing it every four to six weeks, I actually look forward to washing my hair. So. Keep that in mind. Maybe you're frustrated as your wash days because you are washing it so often. Now that I wash it every four to six weeks, I cannot, like, just thinking about me washing my hair on a Saturday and then twisting it on a Sunday because it has to be completely dry just in case it's not dry that Saturday night. Sunday, I have to twist it, do this entire twist process just to do it again in another six days, oh my goodness, I could, no, mm -mm. that is too much. I would get frustrated as well. So I feel as though a lot of people are frustrated with their process or with their natural hair journey because either they're just doing too much or they're just putting more on them than they really need to, which basically doing too much. So maybe you guys need to step it back and minimize how often you're washing your hair. Or if you are washing, if you do want to wash it often, which is fine if you still want to wash it every week, maybe you wash it within that protective style. Like I would not wash my hair in uh, if I had uh, braiding hair in. But if I had twists in and I still wanted to wash my hair every week, I would wash it with the twists in. You know, maybe do it like that. That's an idea. But me washing my hair every four to six weeks, I actually look forward to just having fresh, cold, clean water and soap and in my hair, you know, just lathering my hair. I actually look forward to the process and it's not a daunting process for me. So, yeah.
Oh, child, we finally done. I'm not even going to hold you. It looks nice, but after I finished recording this video, I was looking like, girl, there are so many pieces, like straight pieces that you miss. And that's solely because I was trying to record and do this. Other than that, like everything, all the flyaways, everything would have been in this spot. And <laughs> I was looking like, whoa, this is literally the worst worst um twist mini twist that i've done because there were just so many pieces that were out and it doesn't look like it here but it, trust me there are too many too many that i'm used not used to just being out and about but anyways i just make sure my hair is stay moisturized throughout the entire time for me until um, I go ahead and wash my hair. But yes, now I'm just applying my oils and I make sure I saturate the mess out of my oils because I don't normally oil or spray my hair up until um, the next week. So I don't rehydrate or anything. But that is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something and just, you know, relax and watch me twist my hair. So with that being said, I thank you guys so much for watching and do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Follow me on Instagram at imported underscore chocolate and at Wolanda everywhere else. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.